We're very grateful to Australia because um, our success as, as a restaurant was um, down to Australia. Um, we listed over 350 wines from Australia, all premium. The reason we chose Australian was simply the, the wording uh, was so much easier. And the idea when we opened our restaurant was to provide something which was more relaxed than a smart, posh place in London. And the biggest problem we, we'd been or encountered was sommeliers saying, would you like X or, or Y in, in a German accent or a French accent? I, couldn't, I can't speak German or, or, or French. So I was hopeless with those sort of words. And I wanted people to be at ease in our restaurant. And Australia was the easiest um, way forward. We started using premium from the start because supermarkets were doing the cheaper versions. I think we first started listing Aussie wines in 1998. So as Angela said, everyone was drinking all of the cheap stuff then. Um, and we saw an insight into premium wines. And I think one of the, the big things for us was the, the Australians were coming over and knocking on the door. And, um, and great companies like Great Western Wine, which Angela knows, uh, were bringing these people over. And um, what, one of the things we noticed that people, after a while at, at our restaurant, they were coming in and naming areas. So they'd say that we want a, a Chardonnay from Mornington, we want Pinot or a Syrah from Yarra. Um, but I think even now, if you ask people, they wouldn't know about Victoria. They would know all the regions, yeah. but the name Victoria uh, to them would be uh, oblivious. Um, People talk about Margaret River and they would talk about Chardonnay and, and Pinot and Cab. Uh, but I think Victoria, because it's such a range of different, uh, and that's a, a bonus of different styles which are made there. And it's fabulous from amazing stickies to, you know, amazing Chardonnays from uh, Mornington and, and, you know, you go on and on.